Hey guys, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening thank evening, you. Teacher. Good evening, guys. Thank you very much for joining today. And just let me go ahead and open up everything here. Good evening, hello. Hey, don't forget that if you have questions about the platform, okay, you can ask them today. Siempre dedicamos un ratito para la parte de preguntas en la plataforma, okay? It's important for you to um for you to complete, right, that information, okay? Así que si hay preguntas, pues más que bienvenidas. Give me one moment. There we go. Good evening, Madeline. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Bear with me. Okay, so yesterday we began talking about past models for opinions and advice. And I gave you like, like the structure, like the basic structure that we need to follow, okay? And also you had as a homework assignment, okay, to read this exercise and you have to match it. Uh, you have to look for the meaning of the words that we have here. And also besides that, I ask you to bring examples of past models for opinions and advice, okay? So that's what we did yesterday. Let's go ahead and see if you have that information, okay? So let's go ahead and see. Please um, tell me, do you bring your examples? Trajeron sus ejemplos de los past models for opinions and advice. Do you bring the examples? Si no, pues aquí los hacen, no hay problema. Examples of past models for opinions and advice. You can raise your hand if you want to participate. Me teacher. Go ahead. You could have helped her with homework. You could have helped her, muy bien, help, helped her with her homework, muy bien, okay? That's true. Sometimes, you know, people ask questions and we say, oh, no, I'm busy right now. And actually, you could have helped someone, right, with the homework. So thank you very much. That's an example of this one, giving advice. Good job, okay? Can you give me another example, guys? Remember mm. that we're using this one. Tell me, dígame. You should have cleaned your bedroom. You should have, right? You should have cleaned uh, have your bedroom. Your bedroom. Okay, excellent. Hey, you know what? You should have cleaned your bathroom, right? You're giving an opinion like, hey, um, I can, I could see that uh, your grandmother visited you, but at least you should have cleaned your bathroom, verdad? Pero no resiste, but anyways, take it into account next time, right? Que mas, que mas? You would have studied for, for your exam. You would have studied for? Your exam. Okay. You would have studied for your exam. You would have studied. Mm, you would have studied for your exam. Debiste, a ver. You would have. Hubieras, ¿verdad? Tú hubieras estudiado para el examen. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. I like it, okay? Anything else? That's it, teacher. Hey, excellent. Thank you very much, okay? okay. Good job. Thank you. 
What about the rest? Dígame, Madeline. My example is you would have saved money. You would have to save the money. Okay. You would have saved money. Hubieras, verdad, guardado dinero. Okay, very good. What else? Um, you shouldn't told. You shouldn't have, right? Told. The answer in the in the exam. You shouldn't have told the answer during the exam. Yeah. Okay. Like, uh. La dijo en voz alta, sí. You shouldn't have told the answer during the exam. No, era de que no debió haberle dicho como cheater. Ah, you shouldn't uh -huh. have, ajá. Uh -huh. You shouldn't have, ah, pues sí, entonces sería esa. Cheated on the exam, right? Ajá, uh -huh, sí, mejor así. You shouldn't have cheated on the exam. Okay. Very good, excellent. I like it, and and yes, it's true, right? Actually, you are giving your opinion, right? Hey, no, hombre, vea, porque lo hiciste. So good job. Any then, anyone else? Do we have more? Ana Cecilia. Okay, teacher. My example is I chore her mm -hmm. have uh, another chill. Pero no sé si se pronuncia another. O sea, mm, yo debí haber tenido otro hijo. Ah, I should have had another uh, child. Another. Okay, sí. very okay. good. Mm -hmm. okay. You're welcome. I should have had another child, okay? Yeah, you can, you know, say that to yourself, okay? Uh, Byron, what about you? <clears throat> You should have cleaned your bathroom. You should have cleaned your bathroom. That's totally right, okay? So imagine that yeah. you had gases at home, right? And <laughs> you forgot to clean the bathroom, right? And then it's a mess, right? So you should have cleaned your bathroom, you know, before the yes. guests arrived. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Anyone else? You would have paid the water. You would have paid the water bill? El yes. Recibo? Okay, the yes. water bill. Okay, you would have paid the water bill. Mm -hmm. Hubieras pagado, ¿verdad? Excellent. Anyone else? You could have made that sum. You could have uh, done the exam, right? Done, okay. Uh -huh. You could have done the exam. You had time, right? Okay, very good. Excellent. So what about the rest? What about the rest? Los demás chicos, your examples? Going to share the examples with you over here. Uh -huh, chicos, anyone else? No? Okay. But as you can see, all what we have to do is to follow the, the structure, right? So if the elements are very easy to identify, 
right? Are they are easy to identify? And and all what you have to do is to replace, you know, with the information that you want to say. Now let's come here. Let's go down here and let's take a look at the reactions. Okay, this is a, the word power section, right? And it says Megan's boyfriend forgot her birthday. How does she react? So here we have some. Um, reactions and examples and what you have to do is to match them. Hicieron este ejercicio o necesitan unos minutos extra para hacerlos, chicos? Tell me the truth. Dígame la verdad. <laughs> do you do it or do you need extra time for, for you to complete it? In my case, teacher, good evening. Good evening. I, did, I did the exercise. You did the exercise. What about the rest? Lo demás? In my case, I did. You did. Okay, very good. So let's go ahead and see if we got the, um, you know, or if we agree, right, on the answers. Very good. Let's see. So an assumption, right? I think this one is a very common reaction right an assumption so something happens and all of a sudden we assume we assume things o como dicen por ahí we jump into conclusions verdad sacamos conclusiones quizá donde no estaban <laughs> so an assumption what do you think is a situation that we can exemplify okay um, this particular situation I think it is letter H. Letter H, it's okay. You must feel really sorry. No, actually, it has to do with something else. Remember the situation. The situation right now is that Megan's boyfriend forgot her birthday. O sea, lo olvidó por completo el novio, el cumpleaños de ella. So here we have all the reactions. Aquí tenemos todas las reacciones que ella tuvo. She made an assumption. She actually criticized something. She demanded something, right? Uh, she gave an excuse. She predicted something. She gives a suggestion. She expresses a suspicion. And also she gives in a warning. O sea, todo eso sucedió porque él olvidó el cumpleaños de ella. So, What is an assumption? O sea, si usted, si viene Megan, perdón, si Megan, ¿verdad? El novio olvida su cumpleaños. ¿Cuál creen ustedes que es su primera, su, eh, qué es lo que ella asume con eso? Her boyfriend has a new girl. Ah, ah ok. Por ahí vamos, right? So, take a look at, 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 this, at this one. It says, I bet you were out with another woman. So, that is, eso es lo primero que ella asume, solo porque lo olvidó. I bet you were out with another woman. That's an assumption, right? Teacher, hmm? eh, podría ser el D, el literal D también. D, you probably perdón, forget. D, mm, no, because ahí es diferente. Está, ahorita está asumiendo lo que ya pasó. I bet you were out with another woman. Ah, es que apuesto que estuviste con otra chica, ¿verdad? Saliste con otra chica. Pero si usted se fija en letter D, incluso lo dice en futuro. You'll probably forget our anniversary too. Por lo tanto, es algo diferente. Yes, teacher. Sí. Mm -hmm. sí. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. What about number two? A criticism. I think teacher little f letter f you must have wanted to break up with me okay you must have wanted to break up with me um hmm, this is a difficult one porque you must have wanted to break up with me está, está expresando otra reacción fíjense Let it see, teacher. Ajá, más por ahí vamos. Muy bien. 
a criticism, right? Ah, you must, you can be so inconsiderate, ¿verdad? Que desconsiderado, ¿verdad? Lo empieza a criticar por lo que hizo. Y quizás pobrecito, un daba un mal día y se le olvidó, quién sabe, ¿verdad? What about letter, I'm sorry, number three, a demand. A demand. What do you think? Little I E. Is little E. Okay, very good, right? Ah, uh, no, se te olvidó. Now you have to take me out to dinner twice. No le está, este, como dicen, solo le está informando, ¿verdad? No le está diciendo que, que that's what she wants. Ah, uh, ella está exigiéndolo, ¿verdad? So, what about an excuse? Little H. An excuse, me dijeron F y me dijeron H. You must have wanted to break up with me y it's okay. You must feel really sorry. An excuse. Una excusa. That's a difficult one. Está, está difícil. Porque um, you, oh, it's okay, you must feel really sorry. Piense que at least to me, I would I would probably say letter G, you know you ought to buy me flowers. Una excusa, you know, you ought to buy me flowers. But no, todavía no. Ese ejercicio es bien difícil. Lo he hecho como un par de veces con otros grupos y es bien difícil. Um, vaya, dejemos la excusa pendiente. Vamos a ver si ustedes pueden encontrar la prediction. Which one do you think it's the prediction? Letter D, teacher. Letter D. Ahí está. Muy bien. Ok. Letter D. Letter D. Vamos a ver. Letter D. A prediction. Uy, pero lo voy a cambiar el color. Permítanme. Vamos a dejarlo pink. Como la Barbie. You will probably forget our anniversary too. Muy bien. What about a suggestion? Letter G. Letter G dice, you know you ought to buy me flowers. Ajá, que es la que yo pensé, por eso no lo usé en la otra. Muy bien. A suggestion, you ought to buy me, you know you ought to buy me flowers. Right, okay. A suspicion. I guess it's little F. Okay. You must have wanted to break up with me. Muy bien. De hecho, fíjense que esta, la de suspicion, la podemos también como intercambiar con assumption, porque yo puedo decir que ella asumió algo como you must have wanted to break up with me y una suspicion, I bet you were with another woman, ¿verdad? Esas dos se, se pueden dar, se pueden prestar a, a intercambiarse, ¿verdad? What about a warning? Um, little a. Letter, a. Letter, a. letter A. Exactly, right. Letter A. Okay. If you do it again, you'll have to find a new girlfriend, right? Y pues la última que nos queda es an excuse. It's okay. You must feel really sorry. Vamos a ponerla acá. It's okay. You must feel really sorry. Yeah, una excusa. I'm sorry. I feel I feel bad. I feel terrible. Okay. So this one is a difficult one. Es un poquito difícil, pero lo que nos lo que nos debe de quedar un poquito claro es esto de acá, ¿ve? La reacción. An assumption. Una, cuando nosotros asumimos algo que ni siquiera nos han explicado, pero por la acción que vimos, asumimos ciertas cosas, right? Criticism, una crítica, a demand, ¿verdad? 
eh, how can I say that in Spanish? Como una exigencia, a demand. An excuse, una excusa, a prediction, una predicción, ¿verdad? A suggestion, una sugerencia, a suspicion, eh, una sospecha, ¿verdad? A warning, una advertencia, right? So we need to have that clear so we can, uh, we can uh, understand, right? The, the different situations that we have there, okay? Very good. There you go. Okay, good job. Going to erase everything. Ahí se los dejé en WhatsApp también. ¿Verdad? Así que, do you have any questions, guys, with the vocabulary? Questions about the vocabulary words? Not teacher. Okay, very good. Very good. Now, uh, yesterday, as you as you could see, right, there were some exercises that you have done already in um in the in the platform. Okay, so you can work them out there. So it says work together to think of three interesting predicaments. Right, we were at a friend's house for dinner last night. I can't hear you. Can't hear you very well, teacher. Creo que solo Madeline tiene el problema, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. teacher. Yes, Ajá. teacher. Sí, Madeline, creo que solo usted tiene el problema. Quizás si se sale y vuelve a entrar. ¿Me escucha, Madeline? Bueno, lo voy a dejar aquí el mensaje. A Madeline, Madeline. Bye. Okay. Give me one moment. Uh, what is a predicament, guys? <clears throat> well, a predicament is, and, and I have here the pronunciation, listen. Predicament. Predicament, right? So a predicament is a difficult situation, okay? Es un apuro, es como una situación difícil, o un dilema. Eso es un predicament, okay? Just for you to know, okay? Um, what I need to, and I'm going to share with you, voy a compartir aquí el, el significado en... In your chat también, so you can see it, okay? So take a look at the predicament, right? We were at a friend's house for dinner last night. He had cooked all day, but the food was awful, and we didn't want to hurt his feelings. So, guys, what would you have done? ¿Qué hubieran hecho ustedes en esa situación difícil? We were at a friend's house for dinner last night. He had cooked all day, but the food was awful and we didn't want to hurt his feelings. So, using the expressions, okay, ¿qué hubieran hecho ustedes? They said, Bear, bears uh, take turns stating their predicaments. Others say what the bear could, should, or might have done, okay? Solo ese vamos a, de ese vamos a hablar, no se preocupen, no vamos a hacer más. Entonces, esta situación difícil, ok, díganme ustedes qué hubieran hecho. Aquí pueden tener ejemplos. Ustedes van a decir what, what you could, should, or might have done. For example, hey, you should have told him you weren't feeling well. Or you could have eaten it really slowly. <laughs> So guys, what would what, what what is something that you could should or might have done in this situation? ¿Qué hubieran hecho ustedes en esa situación? Ahí se los puse aparte para que ustedes lo vean. So, what would you have done? ¿Qué hubieran hecho ustedes? Pobrecito, ¿verdad? Y 
in my case, I told him about the food. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? In my case, mm -hmm. I told him about the awful food. <laughs> okay, very good. But how do we say that? Como decimos? I, I want. I should uh -huh. have told him okay. about awful food. Okay, I should have told him. I would say something like this. I would have told him that the food, that the food was not tasteful, right? No estaba, okay. no sabía bien, right? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I should have told him that the food was not tasteful or that the food was not delicious, right? Because if we tell if we tell him that it was awful, pobrecito, yeah. I should have told him that the food was not was not good, right? Or that the food was not delicious or that the food was not uh, tasteful, right? You can use different adjectives. Remember, la idea es que seamos formales, ¿verdad? Para decir la, 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 lo, lo que no nos gustó, okay? Muy bien, what about the rest? What other idea comes to your mind? ¿Qué más hubieran dicho? Teacher, uh -huh. eh, no sé, la idea, tengo una idea. Este, I call take the food to my house. Ah, okay. And it's a little here. Vaya. Pero acá en pero la estructura, sí. usted me dijo, I could sí. take. Pero la sí. estructura es, I could have taken. I could have taken, okay. Uh -huh. The food home, right? Or part okay. of the food home some of the food home. Okay. I could have taken the food or some of the food, ¿verdad? Some of the food. Cualquiera de las dos. I could have taken the food or some of the food home. Para que no me viera, vea que, que no la quería. Muy bien. Okay, very good. ¿Qué más? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What other things would you have done? Teacher, yes. how do you say comida rápida? Fast food. Fast food. Mm -hmm. In my case, I I could have cooked fast food. Mm, but fast food, you can get it from restaurants. For like, example, and I I prepare a hamburger or hot dog. It's ah, okay. a food, fast food. Pero si la venden en un restaurante, si la hacemos nosotros, entonces es hamburguesa. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. okay. I could have prepared hamburger. Okay, I could have prepared hamburgers hamburgers mm -hmm. right oops hamburgers muy bien okay i could okay. have prepared hamburgers very good what else Teacher, yes. how do you say pedir? Ask. Pedir? Ask. Ask. Mm -hmm. Can you write it? Yes. Can you ask. write? 
Okay. I could have asked fast food. Mm, okay. Solo que ask para fast food es diferente. I could have... Vayamos. Order. Ahí sería order. I could have ordered... Order. Uh -huh, fast food. Like this? Fast or, food. Or pizza, you said. I'm sorry. Okay. Pizza, hamburger, anything. Okay, I could have ordered pizza or some pizza or a pizza, right? Some pizza or a pizza. I could have ordered pizza. Mm -hmm, very good. Pero la cosa es como decirle. <laughs> good job, okay. Any any other uh, thing that you would do? Me, teacher. Tell me. I could have left the food. I could have left like this? Yes. Okay. Food. Okay. Dejarla ahí. Okay. No eating and just leave the food there. Okay. I could have left the food. Anything else? How do you say uh, me, me la llevo hacia la casa? Take it home. I could have taken mm -hmm. taken the food home. The, the food home. Or take it home, right? I could have taken it home or I could have taken the food home. Cualquiera de las dos. Okay, eat or food. I could have taken it home or I could have taken the food home. Muy bien, very good. Excellent. Now, in my case, what I would have done, lo que yo hubiera hecho es, I would have thanked him for the food, number one. Sorry. I would have thanked him for the food and I would have um, suggested, right, to buy food, I mean to order, I'm sorry, to order food, okay, from a restaurant, right? Or I could have suggested to buy uh, fast food, etc. So first thing is I would have thanked him for the food, porque es lo primero, ¿verdad? Mire, muchas gracias, but I am really thankful. Y quizás lo siguiente, I could have told him that I don't like the food. Pude haberle dicho que no me gusta esa comida, ¿verdad? Entonces, I could have told him that I don't like the food or that I didn't like the food, para que lo pongamos en contexto, right? That I didn't like the food. And I would have suggested to buy fast food or to buy some food, ¿verdad? Pero yo lo hubiera pagado. Por supuesto, si yo digo, si yo digo no lo quiero, entonces yo pago, ¿verdad? This is, I would have suggested to buy some food. These are the different things that I would have done, okay? I would have sent him for the food. I could have told him that I didn't like the food. And I would have suggested to buy some food. Okay, así que good job over there with your suggestions. Okay, anything else que más hubieran hecho ustedes, chicos? Algo más que ustedes hubieran hecho? No? Okay. But very good suggestions. Okay. Muy buenas sugerencias. Verdad? Y, uh, I mean, a pre that's what a predicament is. Okay. Eso es un predicament, right? Now, think of a predicament from your own experience. Write a paragraph describing the situation, but don't explain how you resolved it. Pero don't worry. No vamos a hacer eso. ¿verdad? No lo voy a poner a hacer uno ustedes. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Okay. 
Can I have a volunteer to read it? ¿Puedo tener ahí un volunteer para leerlo? Gracias, ahí alguien. Ahí veo una mano, ¿quién es? Eh, Madeline, please, thank you. The, para the paragraph, right? Yes, yes, Madeline, yeah. Okay, my teacher invited my class to a party and told us to dress up. The problem was the party just happened to be on Halloween night. And I thought, dress up meant to wear a custom. I arrived at the party dressed <laughs> as a bee and everyone else was wearing nice clothes. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. Okay, very good. Take a look at the picture. Okay, so that is true, right? Actually, um, <laughs> dress up. Uh, dress up is a is a, a phrasal verb, ¿verdad? Pero dress up, eh, cuando ya hablamos eh, eh, en cuestión de ropa, significa dos cosas. Significa disfrazarse o ponerse elegante. Entonces, ha, you have to specify that. Hay que especificar. Uy, perdón, porque de lo contrario, entonces... Eh, va a fallar, ¿verdad? Entonces, this person understood that dress up was to wear a costume, ¿verdad? A costume es un disfraz, a costume. Now, take a look at him. Bien gracioso, right? Pobrecito, llegó como, como abejita, right? So, unfortunately, he uh, misunderstood y también la otra persona que no le dijo, ¿verdad? no le especificó. Entonces, guys, what would you have done? ¿Qué hubieran hecho ustedes en esa situación? ¿Qué hubieran hecho? Cuéntenme. This is the predicament, right? So, what, what would you have done? ¿Qué hubieran hecho ustedes? Llegaron con el disfraz y todo bien elegantes. Yo ya sé lo que hubiera hecho, pero ¿qué hubieran hecho ustedes? I want to listen to your opinions, okay? In my case, I returned to my home and changed okay. the custom. Muy bien. I would have a return. No, pero return es regresar algo, ¿verdad? I would have uh, gone back home and changed my clothes, right? Así. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. I would have gone back home and changed my clothes. Very good. Excellent. And changed, I'm sorry, my clothes. What about you guys? What about the rest? ¿Qué más hubieran hecho ustedes en medio de esa situación? Very embarrassing, by the way. Teacher. Yes. I would have buy. I would have bought. Bought. Mm -hmm. The dress. The ropa. Okay, I would have bought new clothes. New clothes. And gone, gone back the party. Okay, I would have bought new clothes and I would have gone back to the party. Gone back to the party. Muy bien. Muy bien, I like it. Okay, anyone else? Teacher, good evening. Sorry. And I will have to disconnect because I know I know have a uh, charge in my cell phone. No problem. And I am at work. Ah, oh, okay. It's okay, uh, Miguel. I'm sorry to hear that, but uh, I understand. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Teacher, in my case, mm -hmm. I could have apologized for that and I stayed at party. 
<laughs> okay, I like that attitude, right? So I like it. I would have apologized, right? I would have apologized for the mistake. And I would have stayed at the party. Good. I like it. Hubiera sido el centro de atención, ¿verdad? Very good. Excellent. Anyone else? Ajá, chicos. In my case, I will tell you what I would have done. I would have asked if they had uh, some clothes, uh, some clothes for me to change, right? Some clothes for me to change, okay? Y si no, pues, I would have returned. No, probably I wouldn't have. Uh, gone. I'm sorry. I wouldn't have gone back home, but probably I would have a drove. I mean, driven. I'm sorry, driven to the nearest to the nearest uh, store or mall, verdad? El más cercano to the nearest mall to buy new clothes. To buy new clothes. Eso es lo que yo hubiera hecho, quizás. Pero creo que la que gana para mí. Quizás es esta. I would have apologized for the mistake and I would have stayed at the party. Para qué complicarse, right? Ya llegamos, ya gastamos gasolina. Para qué voy a gastar dinero en otra ropa. Solo disculpen, ¿verdad? Me equivoqué. Y pues, ¿dónde está el pastel, vea? ¿Dónde está la comida? Good. Excellent. So, I think, este se lo, se, no, no se las he compartido, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Ok. ¿Sienten que tienen una mejor idea, chicos, de los past models para esto? ¿Hay una mejor idea de los past models que fue, que fue lo que estamos moviendo con, este, con estas oraciones, con estos ejemplos que ustedes están creando? ¿O hay preguntas? Díganme. In my case, is all clean. Excellent. Very good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Now, what about the platform, guys? Do we have questions about the platform? No creo, porque según entendí, pues ya habíamos completado la parte de, de las dudas, ¿verdad? En lo que ustedes tenían. ¿Correcto? Yes, teacher. By a perfect, okay, and then we have the article, verdad? Este artículo que fue el, el, el que eh, está equivocado está en una sección diferente. De hecho, el que tenía que estar allí en esa sección es este. ¿ve? Que incluso tenía el nombre, verdad? Que era este, the run stuff, okay. Uh, así que, bueno, tenemos 15 minutos, ¿verdad? Y el reading que tienen ahí, pues ya lo vimos. Así que let's go ahead and go back to this one, okay? It says reading, the run stuff. I'm going to... Bueno, si tienen el, 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 el manual, está en la página 14. 
pero si no lo tienen, les voy a pasar la, la captura en WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes lo vean también, ¿ok? Entonces, si tiene la captura, ¿verdad? Voy a necesitar unos volunteers para que me ayuden a leer, ¿ok? To run stuff. It says, look at the picture and the first sentence of the article. Why is market research important to companies that want to sell their products internationally? Y la primera oración dice, if a business wants to sell its products internationally, it had better do some market research first. Okay? Now, why do you think market research is important? Uh, it's important to companies that want to sell their products. Si yo tengo un producto, digo, hey, lo quiero vender, pero tengo que hacer un estudio de mercado primero. ¿Por qué necesito hacer ese estudio de mercado? What do you think? Why do, do we have to do that? Para ver si es factible realizarlo. Exactly. I need to know if my product is going to be likable. If the product is going to be uh, appealing for people. I need to know if people are interested in my product, right? Otherwise, I will invest my money and I might have problems, you know, with the, with the product. Me voy a llenar de tantos productos que no se van a vender y pues todo saldrá mal. So let's go ahead and read this article. I'm going to uh, read the introduction one more time y luego pues me ayudan ustedes a continuar leyendo. Lo vamos a ir por, 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 eh, por párrafo, ¿verdad? Aquí están divididos con la letra en negrita. So look at the picture in the first sentence of the article. It says, here's a great car, the Nova. It doesn't run, right? Why is market research important to companies that want to sell their products internationally? If a business wants to sell its products internationally, it had better do some market research first. This is a lesson that some large company, American corporations, I'm sorry, have learned the hard way. So, ¿quién me ayuda a leer el primero? What's in a name? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Maria Griselda. What, what's in a name? Something the problem is the name. When General Motors introduced its Chevy Nova into late, late in America, it overlooked the fact that Nova in Spanish means it doesn't go. Sure enough, the Chevy Nova never went anywhere in Latin America. Mm -hmm. So imagine, right, the Chevy Nova, okay? And as Griselda was reading, it overloaded the fact that Nova, no va in Spanish means it doesn't go. <laughs> okay, so sure enough, the Chevy Nova never went anywhere in Latin America. O sea, asociamos pues eso con nuestro idioma, no va, ¿verdad? That's why, pues so la chica dice, it doesn't run. Right. Uh, what about the next one? Translation problems. Okay. Volunteer for the second part. Translation problems. Yes, Elizabeth. Translation problems. Sometimes it's the slogan that doesn't work. No company knows this better than Pepsi Cola. Mm -hmm. With its come come alive with Pepsi company campaign. The, uh, campaign. The campaign was so successful. Successful. In the United States, Pepsi translates its slogan literally, literally, literally for its international campaign. As it turned turn up, the translations weren't quite right. Pepsi was play, 
trading with Germans to go out the grape <laughs> and the food and the telling the Chinese that Pepsi brings your ancestors, ancestors. But ancestors back from the grave. <laughs> okay, that was that, that that was very funny, okay? So thank you very much. Uh now the first one, I mean the the, the, the slogan was fine. Come alive with Pepsi, right? Eh, como el otro de la chispa de la vida de Coca-Cola, right? So but here when they were translating the the, the slogan, you know, into uh, I mean, yeah, into German. Mm, algo pasó ahí y lo traduje, se tradujo como come out of the grave, right? Como sal de la tumba, right? And then we have the other one, which is uh, the Chinese version. Pero ese está todavía un poco uh, más disparado, ¿verdad? Pepsi brings your ancestors back from the grave. Pepsi trae a sus ancestros de regreso a la vida, right? Entonces, um, Unfortunately, y por supuesto con toda la razón del mundo, right, uh, actually it didn't work. Uh, bueno, creo que con un eslogan así casi nadie pues se atrevería a, com a comprar, ¿verdad? Eh, psicológicamente no, no sería una buena idea. Vaya, vamos a ver el siguiente. Tenemos a picture's worth a thousand words, ¿ok? ¿Quién me ayuda con ese? A picture's worth a thousand words. A ver, Rufino Amilcar, please. Um, a picture's worth a thousand words. Other times the problem involves packaging. A picture of a, a smiling, round checkered baby has helped sell countless yards of Herbert baby food. So when Herbert marketed its products in Africa, it kept the picture on the jar. What Herbert didn't realize was that in many African countries, the picture of the jar showed what the jar, the jar as in it. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much, Rufino. Actually, this one is 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 um tricky, right? Because take a look what it says. I mean, when you go to the supermarket and if you buy a Gerber uh a Gerber food, right? That's for babies. And it has a picture of a of a baby that it, it that baby was very famous, right? I think it's a woman, if I'm not mistaken. So the thing is that what Gerber didn't realize was that in many African countries, the picture of the jar shows what the jar has in it. Entonces, si había una foto de cualquier cosa en, en la jarrita, eso era lo que contenía la jarrita, right? So imagine they thought that the food was something else, era algo más. ¿verdad? Era la, si había una foto de bebé, pues imagínense lo que ellos pensaban. So, again, it didn't work. No funcionó. Y la última, twist of fate. ¿Quién me ayuda con twist of fate? Thank you, Byron. Okay, twist of fate. Even cultural and religious factors and pure condition, coincidence. coincidence can be invol involved some McCann shoes have a Tom McCann signature inside to people in Bangladesh. The signature looked like Arabic script for the word Allah in that country feet are considered unclean and Muslim Muslims feel the company was insulting God's name by having people walk on it. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so imagine, so we have a cultural difference here, right? And, and, and um, I mean, the article, you know, it's, it's dealing with uh, real situations, right? So um, if you have a signature, right, on, uh, in this case, it was on shoes, right? So people consider that as an insult, right? Because they were, you know, um, using you know those uh, using that on shoes meaning that they were insulting you know god so there are many things you know that uh that we need to consider before before selling a product obviously nowadays it's different because people think of you know practical things right something that can help you uh, to improve something right something that has a solution for a problem so the idea here, guys, was to read the article and uh, let's see if the information is true, false, or not given. So number one, General Motors did extensive research before introducing the Chevy Nova. True, false, or not given? What do you think? False. It's false, right? It seems false. that... Mm -hmm. It seems that they didn't consider, you know, that in Latin America, so it's false. The come and come alive with Pepsi campaign worked well in the United States. What do you think? True or false? True. True. Very good. True. It's true. It's true because in the United States, it worked perfectly, right? So esta era false. So this one is true. I know, pero ese color no me gusta, pero solo es esta. <laughs> what about this one? Pepsi still sold well in Germany and China. True or false? Pepsi still sold well in Germany and China. I think it's false. It is false. That it is false. Oh. It says. Oh. Vamos a ver, revisen. Porque dice que vendieron bastante en China y, y en, en Alemania. ¿Será false or not given? ¿Dice o no lo dice? Not given. Okay. Not given. Not given. We assume that it was the case. ¿Verdad? Puede ser false porque eso es lo que nosotros asumimos, mm -hmm. o not given, porque en realidad no está ahí, ¿verdad? What about this one, number four? Gerber changed its packaging after the problem in Africa. True, false, or not given? It's true. Does it mention? Dice ahí que sí lo cambiaron? No, not no. given. No, not given. Not given, right? Probablemente lo hicieron, pero no nos dicen acá. Dice, Thor McCann used the Arabic script for the word Allah in their shoes. True or false? It's true. It's true, right? It says, even cultural and religious factors and pure coincidence can be involved. Thor McCann shoes have a Thor McCann signature inside. To people in Bangladesh, the signature looked like a rabbit script for the word Allah. So actually... He didn't, he didn't use the word Allah, but it was similar, era similar, okay? Entonces, it is false, porque dice, eh, the signature looked like an Arabic script for the word Allah, parecía, pero no era, okay? And the last one, the problem for Thor McCann was the company's name, true, false, or not given? ¿Era el problema el nombre de la compañía o la firma, chicos? What do you think? The signature. Ajá, uh -huh, the signature. Entonces, the problem for the Tom signature. McCann, what's the company's name is? It's false. It's false. Correct. Muy bien. Excellent, guys. So, I'm going to stop here and I'm going to pass the attendance. De hecho, este no la pasé al principio, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver.
aquí está. Ana Cecilia, uy, espérame que no estoy en la fecha que corresponde, hoy es 8. Ahí está, Ana Cecilia, ah, gracias Cristela, me está avisando ahí también. Ana Cecilia Rodríguez de Pérez. Presente, teacher. Gracias. Ana Cecilia Romero de Domínguez. Presente, teacher. Gracias. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. Present. Thank you. Carlos Roberto Domínguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Cristina Abigail Quintanilla Amador. Present. Gracias. Tamaris Merari Marroquín Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejía Torres. Present teacher. Thank you. Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Eduardo Morán Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Madeline Dayana Cerón de Paz. Madeline, ¿qué se me hizo? I'm here. I'm Ahí here. está. Thank you. María Griselda de La Paz Zamora. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Miguel Arsenio Alas Crespín me dijo que se iba a salir porque se le descargó el teléfono. Rufino Amílcar Hernández Linares. Presente. Gracias. Sandra Yanez Vázquez Cortés. Present, teacher. Gracias. Saúl Arnulfo Menjibar Crespín. Here, teacher. Thank you. Y Wendy Carolina Calderón de Aparicio. Wendy Carolina, no está. Bye, right, chicos. Thank you very much for joining today. And that's going to be all. Tomorrow we're going to continue with the, with the uh, rest of the topics. Así que, thank you very much for joining. Okay, See you Good tomorrow. Night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Night. Night.